got those two zords broken apart. You can prepare him. So, and I'll just start with these, these here. Clip on here. So we'll set that aside. We bring out this little piece here. <laughs> piece on bend. together and now for the gorilla zord wrong side it's one foot for it. It's not locking in. There it goes. There we go, that's locked in. This on this piece on this piece on mine keeps wanting to pop off. Just come up and it fell off again. this piece come around the back
chess pieces fiddly. And I don't know why it won't go on. Camera's probably probably because camera's on probably. <laughs> now that's where that piece goes, but I'm having difficulty with that. Oh, wait, never mind. I think I forgot a part. That was my problem. That's where that goes. The head, his helmet, is in two parts. Goes on like so. So, raise up here. So make sure the head's up all the way. And then bring this back. And then bring this forward. And now you can take the sword and put it in the hand. <laughs> and it's the Mega Zoom mark. It's kind of large to get in screen at once, so let me. There we go. Oh, you got a full shot out. Uh, coming close. Let's go. And here it is, side by side with the Gold Ranger's Ore. <coughs> move this whole, move them over a bit. Gold and silver is old combination. So that's a night set. Now because I have the got the Amazon exclusive set, I have get some but more light here. This Nice little stage set up for the come in the box. Plus these nice little figurines. That can be raised and lowered. Like so. So you can raise and they are very nicely detailed and painted very well. So you can put these over here in the back and then take and put Megazord right one Megazord there and take and bring in the other one and Stand it right there, which is how I generally how I have it displayed. Open up the corner. Now, I 
Time to combine these two. Oh, and also side note, these are the instructions that come with it. Really nicely detailed. And huge, so that's why I'm not completely unraveling all of it. Okay, so let's start this. By separating this. And of course, while I'm taking it apart, I realized I forgot that this piece can be put down and... Uh, Alright, now let's take care of this. The sword comes out of the hand. The arms come off. Head, head comes off. And this slides right down in this little groove. Pop this head up piece off. Put this piece head piece on. And put this head up here. This just piece goes on here. Blade comes. These blade comes on here. Feet. Feet attached to the leg like this. You may find it easier to take them apart. These now attach back to here. These become the new arms. Okay, and this is the weapon, the staff wheel weapon. See the original Megazord helmet? It comes right here. The sword comes in to here. And it, it holds in the hand by this tab, this handle here. Which go all the way out like that. And then this part just comes a gun again. Just goes over here in this hand. And that's how it looks here. And then take and turn it this way. Like so. And then you really got this play option here. And these are held on by little holes in the peg. <laughs> you can put those in any order. So that's one way you could do work at display there. Or Do it this way. 
them up and up in front. Let's get a look at the Mega. Now the, you can tilt this here at this hinge joint, but these parts here get in the way. And you can take and spin the blade around the side. Good look here. Yeah. Uh, one thing I, my Nick Pig complaint is the legs here don't lock together very well. And what I mean is these don't lock in place all that well. The, the blue into the red door. It needed a more reliable locking method. So that's my only nitpick about this. Yes. But otherwise, it's great. <laughs>